So LCS regular season just finished up today uh, with a couple pretty exciting best of fives. But mainly what I want to talk about today is Team Liquid heading into playoffs. Uh, they're looking really, really strong. They finished the regular season 7-0 undefeated, had the best match score out of any team. And honestly, it looks like a pretty big gap between them and second and third place. Most people are picturing uh, Liquid, FlyQuest, and Cloud9 as the top three. But it's pretty clear uh, from the games that they played against each other that Team Liquid just seems like a, a, a step above those two teams. Um, I don't know if it's their drafting, their execution, their communication, um, but every single phase of the game for them just seems really solid. This team doesn't really seem to have a, a, a big weakness, and all of their players, despite the fact that none of their players are really big superstar standout players in my opinion, except maybe Impact, they're all playing at a really high level. In my opinion, APA should probably win MVP. I think he's been absolutely crushing it this split. Impact is his normal self, really consistent rock solid in the top lane. Um, and Core's kind of been returning to his, his pretty top tier support form in the league. So this team's looking really scary heading into playoffs. And I would not be surprised at all if they won the championship very convincingly. Obviously, they're the favorite going into playoffs. Um, Cloud9 and FlyQuest are both solid teams and can definitely challenge them. But I think Team Liquid is definitely a cut above and should be favored to win the championship. The big thing I'm really excited for, though, is what this team can do at the World Championship. Uh, we saw them at MSI beat Europe and be competitive with Eastern teams, and we saw the same thing uh, at the Esports World Cup. They took down Fnatic again, and they frankly almost and probably should have beaten T1 in their best of five. So Team Liquid has already proven that they have the capability of uh, at least competing with top tier Eastern teams. The question is, can they improve enough uh, before Worlds uh, to, you know, take some of them down and uh, maybe crack top eight? Because I think of the Western teams currently, I think Team Liquid's probably the best team in the West. And I think that Cloud9 and FlyQuest aren't too far behind. With G2's loss today against MDK, uh, I think they're in shambles and that team is a bit lost. Um, honestly, if I'm being totally honest, I think their roster's not great and kind of falling apart outside of caps i think he's really trying his best but everyone else is just kind of a liability right now in my opinion anyways the point being team liquid i think is the best team in the west right now and i think that they at least have the, the capability to um crack top eight at worlds so i'm really excited to see what they end up doing at worlds um and moving forward um you know what they can do in the future if they can keep the same roster and something i want to talk about um specifically to do with uh, their gameplay is the drafting. Um, obviously, this is a draft-focused channel, and pretty recently, in the last few weeks especially, I've been really impressed with Team Liquid's drafting. Uh, they have really clear priorities, and they have the correct priorities. You can tell by this game against NRG, um, their priorities are in the right spot. They've been consistently prioritizing Corgi for APA the entire split, who is by far and away the most broken champ in the game, and should be picked every single game. I still don't know why he's not. And then you consistently see them have, you know, solid scaling themes with good range. Like, look at this game. You have the core three of Lilia, Corky, and Ezreal. Uh, you know, it's really solid. It has phenomenal scaling. It has good mobility. It has good range. Insane amounts of damage. You just have really everything you would want from a core three in those. And then you have a tank in the top lane and engage in the support role. So it's a really well-rounded comp. The only thing I would do different is replace the Cassante with another tank. But it's not like that's game losing by any means. In fact, the fact that uh, Dokla ended up picking Rumble, I think, is perfectly fine for the Cassante Because, you know, the tank players have figured out to rush Kanic Rooker into the Rumble. And as soon as you get that one item, you're fine in the lane. It's perfectly survivable. And you can do your, you know, your Cassante things in team fights. Um, but just looking at uh, Team Liquid's drafts throughout the entire split, really, it's not even like they've had draft big draft improvements. They've been consistently drafting well the entire split, in my opinion, with the exception huge Rel Engage. That was absolutely sick, by the way. Um, but their drafting throughout the entire split has been very solid. Like I said, they've had good priority on the Corky, and they've had good priorities on the on good themes with, with scaling and range. 
um, and they just know what they're doing. They're not being baited by any of this, you know, Renekton Nidalee crap and, you know, picking these early game crap double marksman bot lanes that, that Eastern teams are doing. Honestly, heading into Worlds, I'm really confident that Team Liquid can perform well, and I'm really confident that they can at least challenge, if not take down, some of these Eastern teams, because if you look at the LPL, they have a lot of strong teams, but they're very coin flip, and anyone can win at any moment in that league. They're very coin flip, and they're very inconsistent, a lot of those teams. So, you know, if one of those teams has a bad day and Team Liquid is consistent as they are, they can definitely take down one of those teams. Looking at the LCK, I'm pretty sure all of those teams are beatable except Gen G. But again, it's Gen G at Worlds, so they'll probably end up choking in some capacity. So I think that even though the Eastern teams are obviously really strong, and most of them are probably going to be favored over every Western team, which is completely fair, I think TL has the complete capability uh, to compete with these teams. And I'm really looking forward to seeing these matches um, because, you know, people have been saying uh, for the past few years, especially that the gap is widening between the East and the West. And I think this year is the first year in a while where I can say, yeah, the West and especially North America, specifically North America, actually looks really good compared uh, to Europe and compared to the rest of the world, I think that um, you know if if North America ends up sending Liquid, FlyQuest, and Cloud9 to Worlds, I'm really happy with that. And I think all three of those teams have the capability to compete internationally, and all three of them have the capability to get top eight and make it into those quarterfinals. You know, expectations are obviously going to be low, but that's going to make the success so much sweeter when it comes. So. I'm really having high hopes for Team Liquid. This team looks really scary heading into playoffs. Again, they've just finished the regular season 7-0, and zero, uh, completely undefeated, pretty much stomped everyone in the league except Cloud9. Their, that game was really competitive, um, but they're just looking really good. Again, and even in this game too, phenomenal draft with the Orn top lane and the Ivern in the jungle to buff up the hyperscaling ADCs. It's just a really good draft. Again, the only thing I would change is have another enchanter support, um, but Rel is, you know, fine to have more AoE teamfight power. Um, but just in general, another really good draft from Team Liquid. And if you compare it to NRG's comp, you have Rumble, who's, you know, not, he's fine, he's just kind of there. But Sejuani and Alistar really make this entire comp really useless. So, uh, Team Liquid just have an auto win, and I think if, you know, they keep having their draft priorities straight, um, and they keep out drafting where the game starts, actually, uh, they're going to have continue to have success heading into playoffs and hopefully into Worlds. Um, especially with the way some of these international, especially Korean teams are drafting, I think if TL drafts like this, they'll have an even better chance of winning the game. So let me know what you guys think about Team Liquid's performance in the regular season, where you think they'll go in the playoffs, and heading later on in the year into Worlds. Thanks for watching. See you next time.